UML building blocks. So to know about the details on this UML, we are concentrating on the basic building blocks of UML. As UML describes the real time systems, it is very important to make a conceptual model and then proceed gradually. The conceptual model of UML can be mastered by learning the following three major elements. So we are having the conceptual model means the abstraction of the model and from the conceptual model we are going to develop our UML model. So what are the three major elements are there? They are the UML building blocks. What are the different building blocks are there with the help of which we can, we can design one UML and then rules to connect the building blocks. All the blocks cannot get connected. There are some do's and don'ts. So what are the rules to connect those building blocks and common mechanisms of UML? The building blocks of UML can be defined as things, relationships and diagrams. So let us discuss one very detailed diagram where everything I have put. So now see there is a UML building blocks. If you can remember this one, that means the UML building block is in your grip. So building blocks of UML are things, relationships and diagrams. If you go for the diagrams, so these are the list of diagrams we are having. How many diagrams we are having? We are having nine distinct diagrams. So class diagram, object diagram, use case diagram, sequence diagram, collaboration diagram, activity diagram, state chart diagram, deployment diagram and component diagram. This deployment diagram and component diagram, they will be coming under one head known as the implementation diagram. And this sequence diagram and collaboration diagram, they will be coming under one head that is known as the interaction diagram. Each and every diagram has got its own role to play. So they are not alike to each other, none can replace any other diagram. So that's why all these diagrams are existing side by side. We are having separate chapters on this UML diagrams and so on. So now let us come to these relationships. So these are the respective relationships we are having. Dependency, association, generalization and realization. So generalization is actually nothing but the inheritance and realization means there is the extensibility. We are having the dependency between two classes or objects and another one is the association. So there we are supposed to make some extra association class to represent the association say in between the house and the respective say person. So here we are having one association between them. So dependency, association, generalization, realization. Realization can also be known as extensibility and this realization can be of stereotypes, tagged values and constraints. So now let us come to the, the first one that is the first building block that is the things. So things will be of four types that is the structural, behavioral, annotational and grouping. Under grouping we are having only package. Under this annotational we are having the notes. This behavioral means here we are having this interaction and the state machine and in case of structural we are having the class, interface, collaboration, use case, component and node. So these nodes will be used in case of our deployment diagram also. So these are the three building blocks and their respective categorizations. I have put everything into one diagram for your better understanding. So if you can remember them, then obviously you will be getting a good grip over this UML basic building blocks. Okay, now here we will be having separate chapters on each one of these models. So let us go for them for the further detailing. Thanks for watching this video.